I think it's important to recognise the, the knowledge and expertise that lies in communities' hands. They are the experts of their area, and so often that knowledge has is, is not been uh, brought into play. It's been left out of a lot of the planning judgments which are being made. You're also much more likely to see communities owning the results of the decisions that are being made, there being less controversy when development proposals come forward which fit in with the plans, and therefore the process will be smoother and we'll see that the development that takes place will meet communities' needs much more effectively and will fit in with their local area. We're absolutely in favour of um, more powers being given to communities because residents know what's best for their area. They, they know the area, they know what works, what doesn't work, and you know, they need to have a say, they ought to have a say, it's quite right. Um, and we think that we get better development because of that. If you live somewhere, you know a lot more about what you need and people are pretty sensible with, with what they say. So I think it's, it's just really of benefit to local authorities if, if they can do these exercises where they're listening to the community. been fantastic benefits from this approach. We um, have seen um, residents themselves come up with fantastic ideas they presented challenges that we've responded to um, and so that the actual final scheme will be a much better scheme because of their involvement. Um, also that lots of other initiatives and community work have sprung off on the back of that. Communities started working together and come up with new ideas. One of the things I really like about big society is this idea that we can all take more responsibility and take action and you know, not be fobbed off with red tape and bureaucracy in our community. Uh, and I think what we've done here in, in Hackbridge shows that if you do listen to the local community and it's all approached in a positive way where instead of the community saying they're fighting against something, they're actually working to do something good, then you can avoid this whole situation of nimbyism because they're taking responsibility and they're engaged in the whole process and I think that's worked really well here. Communities have often felt too shut out of the planning decisions which have been made about the local environment which they care passionately about. So uh, the opportunity to have more of a say, to be more centre stage in the decisions which are being made about development, about the areas to be protected, can only be welcome. And it's something that communities uh, across the country have been looking for for some time.